Hi, hello, welcome to another DIY tutorial with Candy. So basically we are making a dress from a tea. This is my big tea and my tank top or my singlet. I'm using the singlet because the dress is as a like the alternate so it needs to drop like the ammo i'm basically using the tank top to measure the ammo for the dress so as you can see i'm just marking out the ammo area just the ammo area down so you yeah, are making a other dress alternate dress <laughs> now this is a dress that fits me well which is not stretchy because it's one of these old and bed dresses so yeah this fits me well and i'm going to use it for the body of the dress i'm making from this tea so i'm going to mark right from the armhole down to the full length of the tea So I'm basically just tracing it down. This is what I achieved or what I got from my tank top and my dress. I know, genius, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, shout out to Fashion Wizardry. She's like, I got the inspiration for this from her basically. She doesn't know me. I don't know why I said shout out to her like she says, but yeah, just acknowledging. <laughs> so I am pinning it down and now i'm going to cut it out oh and by the way this alternate top is going to have like a really low back yeah i wanted it to have a low back but i did not think it was going to be as low as it came out to be but yeah doesn't matter right <laughs> so i'm just cutting it out cutting out the neck area also leave like sewing allowance when you're cutting it out next time we just cut out the back as i said that it's going to have like a really low back so i should have measured yeah i should have measured i blame myself i just cut it out as i didn't fit i didn't cut a straight line by the way i curve it kind of next thing you want to do is start sewing just how we normally do Sewing my aunt. Anyways, I already sewed this side. I'm on the other side. My skin looks really good. I mean, is it just me? Is it just me? I like, does it look good? So story time, I've been obsessed with like backless dresses for a while. And this one like as a alternate. I actually wanted to buy one. Cause I was saying it's like I really liked it. I wanted to buy it and I was like, oh wait, you can make this yourself. I know, huge flex. <laughs> I mean I don't mean to brag, but yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> Anyways, you can also make one for yourself. That's the whole point of this tutorial. Okay, I'm done sewing now. Next thing you want to do is sew the edges for the front of the dress. You know the part we are saying before is to join the front and the back. So now we are just trying to M the edges so it doesn't look rough. I'm putting it down as usual before sewing just to make it easier I guess. I think that's the reason. <laughs> yeah, I'm sewing really tiny stitches and I'm using a black thread so it doesn't show like the color doesn't show when the dress is done and i'm folded really small like i don't think it's up to half an inch what i folded next thing we want to do is 
so the drawstring like the part we are tying it is the alternate dress so definitely we need like a rope or a drawstring to tie around our neck so yeah as you can see i marked out lines those lines are an inch wide both of them so both fabrics are going to be an inch wide and then i'm just going to sew them together to make one long drawstring i hope you get what i'm saying this is one inch the other one i just cut out is also an inch so when you fold it and everything it will reduce but yeah i'm going to sew them together as you can see i'm going to try to piece them together here yeah? join it and then this just become one long fabric then i proceed to close it up to make it a drawstring so to close it up i'm basically sewing the extreme edge on the wrong side because i'm going to turn it over just going to sew the entire thing oh yeah fun fact i make it dress in a day I know it's like one dress, so I should make it in a day, but I don't know why I busted my head because like, so it was the first attempt and I did it in a day. I felt really good after, can't lie, like just made me feel really happy. So I'm still sewing the drawstring. My sewing is definitely not needed at all, I was so exhausted. But yeah, next thing I said, I'm going to turn it inside out. So I am using a broomstick. This is not ideal but it is diy for a reason i mean basically we're just going to push it make sure like your broom your <laughs> make sure your broomstick is on a piece of the fabric is that piece of fabric you are going to be pushing if it is not on a piece of fabric there's nothing to push there basically just pushing the broomstick inside but if it is on a piece of fabric as you can see yeah this is what i'm referring to there was a piece of fabric there then now i'm trying to remove the broomstick it's all a struggle i don't know why it's all a struggle <laughs> okay finally i removed it this is the neatest drawstring that i have ever so i'm so i was so proud of myself now i'm folding the neck that is where i'm going to pass our drawstring through which is a casing yeah we call it casing I said now we <laughs> oh my god I marked about an inch and quarter I think I was just trying to make it as wide as possible because was it an inch and quarter I think it was an inch actually as you can see I'm folding it again so after you fold it once when you're about to sew you fold it again I'm using my pins to hold it down Basically, I'm just trying to make sure the like edge doesn't show. That's why I'm folding it again. The second fold is going to be smaller. I don't know if you noticed, but the second fold is smaller. It's not as big as the first one, which is about an inch. I'm sewing where I folded. That is the second fold. I'm going to sew it. So I'm almost done with this, by the way. And yeah, I was going to say, like the ammo area should not be as sharp as it looked there. I had to like adjust it later. Basically, just try to cut it in so it doesn't stick out. Sewing the neck. This is where we are passing the drawstring we sewed earlier through now i'm done and yeah this is the end you can decide to sew your edges and what's not oh this is not the end we actually have to pass the drawstring through yeah use your safety pin we do this in like every video so <laughs> you should be used to it <laughs> But yeah, just basically push it inside, drag it out until you get to the end. And then you drag it out and remove your safety pin. Voila. This is basically the end. Your body dress is ready. And it's the new year. Oh yeah, happy new year by the way. Happy new year. This is the end result. Our baby is ready. I mean, just take a look at it. <laughs> it was not our first time for me. 
thank you for watching this to the end bye